with the timing belt cover removed let me take a look at the belt after removing it and cleaning it we can see it's time for it to be changed so maybe this belt stretch this is a gates belt when we go down into the timing cover where the belt is the belt this is the tensioner I found this spring just laying back like that it's supposed to be in front of this pin right here so this is an aftermarket tensioner but what was causing the noise is if you take a look here you look at that keyway you see it's damaged and when we look at the key that was sitting in there that's what it looks like now I'm gonna tell you those Chinese or the Japanese who made this Nissan made this keyway small as their dick look at them two of them right now let's take if we put this back in here obviously it's gonna shake right it's gonna shake when the engine is running and when we look at the sprocket that sits there we take a look in there I don't know if this camera could get it but you can see it's also damaged if this would have broke this would have slipped and the timing would have just bent up the valve and damaged the engine you would need to change the engine this is why I believe these Nissan are a piece of shit in every way engine transmission suspension this is the keyway that sits in the front here this was holding the damp and the pulley so the damp and the pulley really wasn't the problem the problem was coming from the back here because this here was just rattling there like this because of this busted keyway see how it is now if I order a new keyway a new sprocket I still have to change the crankshaft all because of this cheap little dick keyway that's why these Nissan are real fucking garbage so the timing belt on this vehicle was done approximately a hundred and ten thousand mile ago